Welcome back to your next networking tutorial. In this example, we're going to cover the simple chat app. In this chat app, we're going to be sending the messages from the client, which are these teal turquoise colored nodes. We're going to send the, send the data. We're going to relay the data from the host. The host nodes are the red ones. And we're going to receive and display the incoming data again here on the chat notes on the client notes so over here on the left as you can see these are the host nodes the host will create a connection on this port on 8001 he will store that connection for later so set the object property to host connection and over here we will reuse that property get object property host connection to send everyone, send all, the incoming message that comes in with the API field MSG. So this is the host network event. So each network connection has four events. You have on message, on open, on air, on close. For the host, all we're doing is on message. We're going to check for the message coming in with the API field MSG. And we're going to relay the message to everyone on that connection to which they will then post on their on message event to their canvas, the chat message. That's how you relay directly from the client to the host back to all the clients. That is the basics of a group chat. One person sends it, everybody receives it. The other two events that are related to the canvas are going to display our status. So chat connected and chat disconnected. And these events happen when the client opens the connection and when the client closes the connection. Those two events occur on the client and these on message events occur both for the host and the client. So to go over again, you have your host nodes on the right, on the left in red and your client nodes on the right. The client has three events on open, on message and on close. And each one of those will set a canvas status or element to correspond with the app's status. So if you look down here, this send message, it's waiting for the click event on the chat on the, the canvas button with the ID chat send. So it's waiting for the left mouse click event when it's released. When it's released, it's going to get the connection for the client and it's going to send the data from the canvas input text. After it's done sending the message, it's going to clear the input text to indicate that the message is sent and it's cleared. So you can send, you can start inputting new text. And this unfocus is just relative to the, to the um, canvas itself. It needs to unfocus so uh, that you can keep, keep writing. Anyway, yeah. So that's the basics of a group chat example. If you understand this, you can start expanding your games and applications over the network. You can start expanding functionality over the network. I hope you enjoyed it and wait for the next upcoming tutorial on the four player Mario Party style tutorial. See you next time. Until we meet again.